We're, we're in second round action. Now we're going live from the sports arena. Pernell Whitaker, the American lightweight against Rainer Geese. Southern Republic of Germany, West Germany to most of you. And Whitaker has been much in command. Geese has been running and running and running. He's been staggered twice. And the much shorter American, he's having a big height edge and a big reach edge. The much shorter American dominating the contest, but inexplicably cautioned three times in the first round by the referee from Indonesia, Mr. Gadon. Whitaker moving skillfully in and then out again. And that right jab, the speed jab, has been penetrating against the taller man all night long. And that's the way the taller man has been fighting, holding or running, one or the other. We're down almost at the 30-second mark in the second round. And Geese has been doing absolutely nothing. But we will have local news. I should like to remind our stations as close to 11 o'clock as possible. And we're coming toward the end of round two now. Be interesting to watch the judges on this, the way they've been scoring tonight. We'll be back. We are back live at ringside at the boxing venue. Third and final round action. Rena Gies, Federal Republic of Germany. West Germany to most of you against Colonel Whitaker. They are lightweights. And in my book, Whitaker has been totally dominant against the much taller West German. You saw him with the speed hands there to the midriff. This is the first round in which I've seen the West German come out throwing punches. And the rest of the while, he was either running or wrestling. That is a proper caution by the referee to Whitaker because he was wrestling the opponent down. Absolutely proper caution. That's the right to cut to Geese again. 20 years of age from Norfolk, Virginia. Whitaker all over Geese. Right there, he was virtually fought. And that's a proper caution to the West German because Whitaker was forced to wrestle him back. is looking at the referee and finally a standing eight count he's wanted that eight count he was looking to the referee for help and we are more than halfway through the round did you see that he's holding Whitaker by the head and trying to hit him at the same time should do is stick to his fight plan, not look for a knockout. Inexplicably, in the very first round, Gadoan was impeded. Look at those hands. The number of scores by Pernell Whitaker. I told you this young man has professional skills. In my opinion, he can only lose if he showboats and beats himself, which he sometimes has a tendency to do. Another point deducted from Geese. Look at him, balling, holding and hitting at the same time. Not a very pretty posture, not a very pretty exhibition of sportsmanship. There's another standing aid count, and Whitaker lifts his hands aloft, and Geese expresses disgust. But it's been his performance that has not been pretty. We're at the end of the fight. And there is Pernell Whitaker, and he knows the score.
score. One can only hope that the judges do too. We'll be back. The boxing venue awaiting the decision. Smiles wreathing the faces of Pernell Whitaker and head coach Pat Nappy. There's the opponent, Rena Geese, who did not fight a pretty fight, not by any means. Very sloppy and at some points distressing to see his behavior pattern. However, that's the way it was and it had to be reported. Here's the decision. On points 5-0 in the red corner, Pernell Whitaker of the USA. There, there could be no question about that. Pernell Whitaker, the winner on a unanimous decision. He fought a much taller man. He fought it his way and brilliantly he is becoming perhaps the star American boxer of this all winning contingent except for one loss. Now let's quickly go back to Jim McKay.